you're new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in, stopping by and checking it out. You're probably wondering what Savage Reviews are. Savage Reviews is a series where I will look at a film, usually found on a streaming platform like Tubi, and I will give you my honest opinion on it. Now these movies are generally low budget. They are usually B grade or below, and they're usually not of the best quality. So let's get straight into this one. Coming from 2011, we are looking at The Amityville Haunting. Um, this movie is a found footage film about the Benson family who move into a, uh, the infamous house where the DeFeo family were murdered in the 1970s over 30 years earlier. Things start happening to anyone who visits a house and who lives there. This footage is retrieved from a camera which is recorded by the son, Tyler, but also surveillance and security camera footage which the, the father of the family, Douglas, puts up. Uh, so this movie was directed by Jeff Mead. Don't know what else he's done. And it does star Jason Williams, Amy Van Horn, Devin Clark, Nadine Croker, Gracie Largent, and, and a few others. Okay. This is by far one of the worst found footage films I've ever seen. The found footage style is something I really enjoy, but this was done so poorly, and, and even for found footage, really bad camera work, poor angles, and terrible visuals. The um, night vision is just woeful. Um, the way I would best describe this film is they've taken the idea of paranormal activity, set it in a well-known house, Amityville Horror, mashed them together, thrown it into a blender, then put the blender in a wood chipper, set it on fire, and cobbled together a barely watchable movie. The acting... Okay, so the acting isn't terrible, but it's it's really not great either. Um, it's very inconsistent. Jason Williams, who plays Douglas Benson, the father, the patriarch of the family, is very hit and miss in this one like he's supposed to be unraveling but it all just happens really quickly I'm sure there's backstory there but none of it was really delved into um, same with uh, Nadine Croker who plays the daughter Laurie Benson um, her character was supposed to be a troublemaker but most of the time she's really just staring at her phone so typical teenager I guess um, the special effects in the movie involve some blink and you'll miss some moments. And I get they're probably supposed to be that way. But when the camera work is really bad and grainy like this, the angles are done. You don't really get that good glimpse of what you're supposed to be seeing. It's a blur and it kind of makes you think, what did I miss there? Did I see something? And that got really annoying because you kind of feel like you need to rewind it to see if you did miss something. Um, now, in some cases, like I said, that can be a really good thing when it's done right and when you're invested and the tension is there. This film does not bring any tension into it at all. There's no tension and, you know, the characters aren't, you're not invested in the characters. You don't care about them. You're not going to have that tension there. It's not going to bring it together. It's not going to push you forward to see where this movie's going. And in fact, speaking of where this movie's going, the only redeeming part of this film was the final five minutes, which I felt were quite good. Um, the shakiness of one of the ghosts in particular wasn't great. It was kind of like he'd move his head to the side, they'd cut, move his head to the other side, cut, straightforward cut, and then just loop that or, or something. Like, it was really odd. Um, but look, overall... Like I said, this is one of the worst found footage films I've ever seen. I'm going to give The Amateurville Haunting from 2011 2 out of 10. So you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to 2023. And we're kicking it off with this. So, look. Can it get worse? Possibly. Let's find out. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.